Hey guys, welcome to the video. I just want to start out by saying a huge thank you to everybody who's been watching and subscribing to the channel lately. Uh, it's uh, It's been really cool, so um, I just want to thank every one of you for that. Uh, today's video, we're going to be focusing on balancing your car and how that translates into faster times and also more stability and control. So here we have our uh, group, or no, this isn't group A. This is the 2000cc class uh, Subaru. Um, this is going to apply to every car class to some extent. Um, however, you're going to use it more in all the all wheel drive classes and that's just balancing your car. So by doing this, you can maintain a little bit more control, not only in the slow speed sections, but also you can maintain, uh, your control in high speed sections and you can actually use this to minimize your steering inputs in high speed corners so just to just to kind of show um this is a bone stock setup there's no tuning in this um so even if you don't want to do any of your setups or anything like that you can do this in a bone stock car so i'll kind of show this and so what i'm doing is you can see by slightly tapping the brakes what i'm doing is i'm shifting the weight of the car forward so what this is going to do, and I've talked about this briefly in some of my previous videos, but what it's going to do is it's going to shift a little bit of the weight off the back tires of your car, allowing them to brake traction, and you can bring the car around, and you can also do this in slower tight corners as well. You just need to brake a little earlier, and you can turn the car very sharply. Oh, I broke braked a little early on that one, but that's okay. So, what this is gonna do, and I get this question a lot in my in my streams of why, and I can demonstrate this a little bit later um, in in a better an actual stage for this. But as you can see, all I'm doing is as I'm approaching a corner, I'm letting off the throttle tapping the brakes now what this is gonna do if you can if you can see you see how the front dives forward a little bit so what that does is it shifts more of the weight on your front tires so that allows you to get a little bit more of a bite in your steering inputs and it relieves some of the weight off of your rear tires allowing them to brake traction easier and so what that does is it allows you to A, perform what they call the Scandinavian flick, which I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with by now. Okay, so to demonstrate just how much balancing the weight of the car affects what it does, I'm gonna go in this long straight, I'm gonna take this corner, I'm gonna do it once without any brake inputs, just, just steering, and then I'll do it again hopefully same speed roughly and then I'll do it with the brakes and you can see how much that affects the handling of your car okay so that is kind of what happens. So you can see by my tire marks right here, I just went straight off and I understeered like crazy. So we're gonna go back over here. We'll try this again, but this time I'm gonna just tap the brakes a little bit and get some forward weight shift. Oh, I screwed that up, all right. All right. So, do the same thing, we'll launch again. Try to take roughly the same line. So we still went a little wide, however, that was that's not the speed I would probably take that corner at normally, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, uh, I wanted to show 
just how much of a difference brake inputs can make. You can also use it for little switchbacks like that as well. So for these switchbacks, what you can do, it's, it's kind of like a Scandinavian flick, except you don't flick the car all the way around. That was a bad spot for that. Here, this will work. So you can go like that. Go like that. And then from there, it's all just steering inputs. Let's take the car to another, to an actual stage, and I'll kind of demonstrate in real time uh, exactly how effective balancing your car can be. So here we are in New Zealand with the Subaru, and again, just going to show 100% stock setup. I don't have the reset tuning option. And the reason I picked New Zealand is because there's a lot of really tight corners that are all back to back. So balancing the car and getting into that flow and rhythm, I would suggest this might be a really good one to practice this on is because New Zealand has a lot of really tight corners. Uh, most of them are, are kind of a slower speed, but that just means that your balance has, your, your balance and weight transfer has to be timed out much better. Uh, and there's a lot of them back to back. So it gives you a lot of time to practice this. Quite, quite a very long, opens 30. One left tightens. 30. Four left, don't cut. Into three right, into caution, don't cut three left. 50 over crest, one right tightens. Opens, into turn, unseen, don't cut one left tightens. And three right. Cut that one a little close. Into three right. Opens into one left tightens. But as you can see, there's a lot of really tight corners back to back. And so I'm not even touching the handbrake. This is all just brake balance and small steering inputs. Oh, I went too far on that one. Three left. Into three right. Opens 30. But you can take these corners much faster by doing it this way. Into three left. Then you would be able to by using your handbrake. This also gives you a little bit more stability and control in the corners. Because if you use your handbrake, it's a very sharp. And you can get the car to kind of rotate into the corner before you even take it. You can also let off the brake a little bit in some of these uh, higher speed corners. Into two left. So, cut. Into six right. And three left. Don't cut. by using the brake to balance the car instead of using your handbrake, you can get a slower, more controlled rotation as opposed to using your handbrake, which can cause a quick, snappy rotation, and that may not be the best. You're not going to be able to maintain speed as well, and it can cause an unpredictable... Uh, into four left. It can cause an unpredictable Slow, snap. Keep right of a crest, turn unseen, open head and left. And you don't necessarily want that, especially if you're in a really good uh, a really good rhythm. Three right of a crest. So I've done into all of this left. so far to so far 14. on this stage without left touching the handbrake at all. Into six this right. is all just and six left. This is all just brake right and steering inputs. Into two left tightens. Into four right. Open to the crest. Into six left long. All right. Well, I took a bad line on that one, but that just shows you how how important the timing of all this stuff is. So if you can get this timing down, then you can nail corners while still maintaining a lot of speed. Don't cut three left. Twenty. And shifting the weight of your car and really just kind of throwing it around and getting into a really good rhythm. Open 60 over crest and finish 70 to stop.
So as you can see, balancing the car can give you a lot more control uh, going through corners. Those are some low speed corners. It works the same way in a high speed corner. Uh, all you do is you just, you don't tap the brake quite as much. And depending on the speed, um, you're going to have either more or less steering input. It's all just going to be something that you'll have to work on. You'll get used to it after a while. But if you can learn how to balance your car and not use the handbrake as often, you'll be able to carry more speed. You'll have more, uh, more control through the corners. And you'll just generally be able to get a faster time. Because in rally, it's not the... Actually, in racing in general, straights are not where you gain your speed. It's in corners. So the more speed and control you can maintain through a corner, that means you can, you can potentially control your car to hit that apex and keep on the ideal racing line, and you can get a good exit and set up for the next corner. So that's where you're gonna gain most of your time is maintaining control through your corners, linking corners together, Not maybe not necessarily perfectly, but if you can link all those corners together, and the reason I picked that stage is because there's a lot of really sharp corners back to back. And so that, you know, demonstrated this technique, not necessarily technique, but um, me mechanic, I guess you could say. Um, it, it, it demonstrates this very, very well. And again, this goes across most classes of cars. I don't think it's going to affect your front wheel drive cars quite as much. Um, but it's still very useful in the front wheel drive class. Uh, you have to be careful with it on rear wheel drive cars, especially getting back on the throttle, because as you, as you shift that weight forward, there's no power coming on the front wheels. It's all in the back. So you can still do this in rear wheel drive cars as well. Um, but you'll just have to be a little bit more careful getting back on the throttle. And that's it for the video today, guys. Uh, again, if you have any more questions, you can feel free to type them down in the comments, or if you have uh, any suggestions for what you'd like to see next in this series of videos, please let me know in the comments. Or you can also hit me up on Twitter at Roadside TV. You can uh, leave me a message there, and I will read that. Or you can always find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roadside TV. Uh, I'm live with the Dirt Rally every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. So you can always pop in there. You can always ask me questions as I'm live, and I can do my best to explain them, you know, kind of in the moment. So if you have a series of questions or more in-depth questions, feel free to drop by the channel and ask any time. Once again, guys, I want to thank everybody for all the the recent subscribers and the viewers and everything like that i really really appreciate it um i'm gonna try to have my next video out a little bit quicker than this one was uh there was like a three month gap uh between my videos so i apologize about that but i'm gonna try to have another video out within the next week or two i think i'm gonna focus on uh rear wheel drive setups so uh, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.